Welcome everyone to a new school year. We're excited to see everyone in the building. My name is Kevin Wolpert. I'm one of the assistant principals in the building. And my name is Mr. Connolly. I'm also one of the assistant principals in the building. We're going to talk about our code of conduct today. The code of conduct outlines the expectations for behavior and the consequences for misbehavior. We know the vast majority of our students follow the rules the majority of the time. However, the code of conduct does have an effect on all of us. It promotes the acceptable behavior that allows us to achieve a safe and productive learning environment. The only exit from the building during the day is the main entrance. These signs are located throughout the building to remind you that these doors should not be open for any other students or any people who are trying to access the building from outside. Hey buddy, where are you headed? I'm going home. Oh, you have to leave from the main entrance. Those are the rules now. Main entrance only when you leave the building. Okay. After school starts, you leave from the main entrance, enter from the main entrance. Yeah. All, right. All right, thank All you very much. No problem. At Saratoga, we employ a saying called, see something, say something, and we mean it. It's everyone's responsibility to keep the building safe. That includes the bathrooms. If you see something in the bathroom, we want you to report it immediately to an adult. That includes vaping. We're concerned about the health risks, obviously, with vaping, but also we want to provide a safe environment. So if you see something, please say something. Reminder that when students are in the hallways at times other than passing time, they need to possess a valid pass. Valid passes has the student's name, destination, date, time, and a valid teacher signature. Please help keep the building safe by abiding by the pass rules. Excuse me, do you have a pass? Of course. Do you have a valid pass? Yes. Do you have a It's an expectation that all of our students will read the Code of Conduct that can be found on our website. Or if you would like a hard copy, or if you have any questions, please see your assigned administrator. My name is Joanna Friedman. I am an assistant principal here at the high school. And my name is Stacy Rolston. I'm another assistant principal here at the high school. We are here to review with you attendance policies and procedures. School is your most important job. Students who attend school regularly and on time are more successful and more apt to get a better job. Instruction begins on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays at 7.57 a.m. On Wednesdays, instruction begins at 8.22 a.m. Students are expected to be on time and in their classes ready to learn. Should you arrive late to school, please check into the attendance office, A102, just off the main lobby in the entrance. Please refer to the student parent handbook that is online for a detailed description of the attendance policies and procedures. In addition, the difference between an excused and unexcused tardies and absences is explained in the handbook. Remember, there are consequences for unexcused tardies. If you need to leave school early, please bring a pass to your assigned administrator's office in the morning. They will verify your dismissal and give you a pass to leave at your designated time. Should you return to school from an appointment, please remember to check back in with the attendance office upon your return. Thank you, and we hope you have an amazing school year.